Good afternoon, everyone. Before we start today's proceedings, I would like to invite everyone to stand for the national anthem played on the steel pan by Mr. Joshua Regrenu. <laughs> you to remain standing for the opening prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you today thanking you for this special day of virtual long service award ceremony and ask for your guidance and wisdom over today's proceedings. Continue to watch over us and bless us with the success, wisdom and discernment so that we may continue to be committed to those we serve. All this we pray in your name. Amen. Please be seated. Chairman of the Board of Directors of the PTSC, Mr. Edwin Gooding. Board of Directors of the PTSC. General Manager of the PTSC, Mr. Hans Eric Schultz. Members of the PTSC's management team. Our Long Service Awards recipients, our distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Petrina Mahabia, and I will be your master of ceremonies for this afternoon. This long service award ceremony is very different to the previous one. As all our recipients today are viewing from the safety and comfort of their homes with their friends and families. Today, we honor and recognize 98 of our employees for their dedication to the PTSC. Without further ado, I now invite our general manager, Mr. Hans Eric Schulz, to give the opening remarks. Thank you, Ms. Mahavia. Chairman of the PTSC, Mr. Edwin Gooden. Board of Directors of the PTSC, Management of the PTSC, Long Service Award recipients, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great honor and privilege to welcome you most warmly to this afternoon's Long Service Award ceremony. The PTSC is pleased to host this event, which recognizes, rewards, and celebrates the commitment and contribution of staff who have worked for the company for many years. Rewarding loyalty and commitment to the PTSC is a vital recognition tool. In recognition of long service, the corporation awards employees today who have completed 15, 20, 25, and 30 years service respectively. It is a known fact that the most important resource in any organization is its employees. Employees are the driving factor behind our organization and the corporation recognizes the importance of employee satisfaction in improving and maintaining a high level of customer satisfaction. Awardees, you have continued to make possible our mission at the PTSC, which is to provide a safe, cost-effective, and reliable bus transport system across communities. It has been a long journey full of both challenges and opportunities but each one of you has shown nothing less than passion, dedication, perseverance, and loyalty to the PTSC, and I acknowledge and congratulate you. Improving our service delivery 
would not be possible without the support of our employees. I therefore urge you to continue to strive towards contributing to the achievement of a more broadly representative, service-driven PTSC. Through the years, your talents, your talents and efforts have helped our successes. Together, we take pride in your accomplishments and your commitment to excellence. We applaud the determination and effort you have demonstrated during your time with us. On behalf of the board and management, I commend you and wish you continued success in your career here at the PTS. Let us work together in reliably moving people forward. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Schultz, General Manager of the PTSC. I'd like to now call the Chairman of the PTSC, Mr. Edwin Gooding, to give the feature address. Mr. Gooding. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies. Board of Directors of the PTSC, Mr. Hans Eric Schultz, General Manager of the PTSC, other members of the PTSC management team, our Long Service Award recipients, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today's virtual Long Service Award ceremony is of great significance both to the organization and to me as its chairman, especially considering that this event is taking place during a global pandemic. PTSE is, a designated, is designated an essential service provider during times of national emergencies, and we've had to reevaluate the way we conduct our business while at the same time ensuring minimal disruption to our operations as we continue to serve the people of Trinidad and Tobago during the pandemic. From the vantage point of the Board of Directors, we are able to oversee the various operations of the PTSC working together to fulfill its mandate. But more importantly, we must recognize those who keep the wheels turning at the PTSC, our management and employees. It is for this reason we felt it fitting and proper to host this Long Service Award ceremony. Here we are able to give special recognition to our employees who through their dedicated years of service and performance have enabled the PTSC to transport commuters in a safe and efficient manner two years into the pandemic. Being committed to a job is no easy task. To those of you who would have, who would have many years ago chosen the PTSC as your place of employment and also decided to make it the foundation upon which your careers were built, we say thank you. We understand that a person's dedication to his or her work is not only about the commitment of the individual, but also the commitment of their families. This holds true today where anxieties and fear are high due to the COVID pandemic. So, your, so to your loved ones, we also say thank you. As the PTSC positions itself to embark on a journey of organizational transformation and growth, your continued dedication and commitment will go a long way to ensure our success. We urge you to continue on your path of service and greatness and be an inspiration to others so that we can continue to serve the people of Trinidad and Tobago with distinction. In closing, and on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Public Transport Service Corporation, I express my sincere appreciation and recognition of your years of service to the PTSC. To those who are retiring, we wish you a long and happy retirement. For those of you all who will continue on the journey with us, let's make PTSC the best it can be. Thank you and congratulations. Certainly, let's make PTSC the best we can. Thank you, Chairman. 
Before we continue with the presentation of awards for 15 years, 20 years, 25 years, and 30 years service, I now invite uh, Mr. Joshua Regrello to continue with the entertainment. Excellent rendition there. Very energetic performance. Round of applause to Mr. Joshua Regrello. So, the moment we've all been waiting for, the presentation of our 98 recipients. We start with 50... <laughs>
Raja Booty. Well done, straight lip at our San Fernando Engineering Department. Mr. Richard Joseph, Operations Department, Ramirez, Engineering Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Andre Hubert is a wheelchair assistant and is currently the Assistant Secretary of the Disabled International Trinidad Chapter. Ms. Laurie Pascal started off as an OJT and has learned a lot since her time at BTSC. Mr. Atiba Holland, Operations Supervisor, attached to the PTSE's Port of Spain Depot. Ms. Giselle Hadaway, Finance and Accounts Department. Mr. Leonard Villaruel, PPO, Security Department. Mr. Reynold Jr. Williams, Properties Department, Port of Spain, Depot. Ms. Rene Vosier is a clerk to attach to Operations Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Curtis Dyer, now retired, was attached to our Security Department. Mr. Kivan Samsing, Properties Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Nicholas Frederick, Properties Department. Ms. Jehan Smith Joseph, Operations Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Wayne Moore is currently attached to our Finance and Accounts Department, Port of Spain Depot. Mr. Caron Saunders, Properties Department, Port of Spain. Ms. Irene Maidali Lopez, Engineering Department, Port of Spain. Ms. Carla Joseph, Engineering Department, Port of Spain. Ms. Patricia Defoe, Operations Supervisor, Port of Spain. Ms. Grimshaw is attached to Tobago Operations Department and enjoys reading, exercising, and learning new and exciting things. Ms. Parvati Basant Medina, IT Department. Ms. Mandy Harper, Operations Supervisor, Shagona Stapu. Mr. Mukesh Prasad, Finance and Accounts. Ms. Natalie Leasing, Operations Department, San Fernando. Mr. Jagnarine Dionarine, AC Technician, Engineering Department. Mr. Steve Rajaram, Auto Electrician, Engineering Department. Ms. Michelle Nutt Dawson, Supervisor, Engineering San Fernando. Mr. Timothy Belgrave, Driver Conductor, attached to Operations Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Mark Moll, Driver Conductor, Operations Department, Port of Spain. Ms. Martha Harry, Engineering Department.
Mr. Puran Samaru, now retired, was a driver conductor attached to Operations Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Anil Ramda, Station Assistant, Operations Department, San Fernando. Shafiq Mohammed. Mr. Mohammed is a Station Assistant, also working out of our San Fernando Depot. Mr. Harish Dutt Sankalal, Operations Station Assistant, South Depot. Mr. Rajesh Punwasi, Operations Department, San Fernando. Mr. Ramdeo Gajada, Operations Department, San Fernando. Mr. Vijay Sipasad, Engineering Department. Mr. Ken Mohan. Mr. Mohan is a proud dad of two girls and is grateful to the PTSC. Says he has learned quite a lot. Mr. Ronald Mitchell, now retired, Properties Department, San Grande. Mr. Winston Ragu, acting charge on engineering, loves sports, and he says that he loves to take part in the PTSE's cricket competition. Terence George, engineering, Port of Spain. Mr. Rajesh Roll started off as a serviceman A in 2006, now attached to our engineering department, Port of Spain. Mr. Otis Worrell, Engineering Department, Port of Spain. Ms. Melina Ford, Engineering Department. Ms. Onika Osmond is attached to a Marketing and Communications Department in Tobago. Mr. Jeremy Sidan, Engineering Department. Mr. Jason Wheeler, Engineering Department, Port of Spain. Ms. Esther Sukupe was the first female manager in the Engineering Department at PTSC. Mr. Phineas Sugdeo, Security Department, San Fernando. Mr. Marvin Campbell, Security Department. Mr. Mark Potts, Security Department. He shares that he plans to get married this year and is a proud family man. Mr. Marlon Henry, Supervisor, Security Department, he shares that he's a member of Soulful Harmony. Mr. Stephen DeYoung, Acting Security Coordinator, San Fernando. Mr. Declan Williams is a proud dad of one, football fan, and is grateful to the PTSC as he was assisted in becoming a homeowner. Mr. Darcel Joseph, Clerk to San Fernando Engineering Department. We now move on to 20 years service. Mr. Sherlyn Collins, Properties Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Ricky Ramkaran, Engineering, San Fernando Depot. Ms. Parvati Somara, Finance and Accounts. Mr. Curtis Murphy, Properties Supervisor, Properties, Port of Spain Depot. 
Mr. Azad Mohammed, Mechanic B, attached to our San Grande Engineering Depot. Mr. Dave Ramcharan, now retired, was part of our Properties Department. Mr. Titus Lewis, Properties Department, Port of Spain. Also from the Properties Department, Mr. Kevin Sepol. Mr. Sean Roberts, Operations Department, Port of Spain. From the Finance and Accounts Department, Mr. Dexter Joseph. Ms. Colleen Monsegui, Operations, Sangre Grande, Dapu. Mr. Ricardo Fraser, Finance and Accounts. Mr. Ricky Estrada, Engineering Department. Mr. Alice Springer, Engineering Department. Mr. Brent Pear, Properties Department, Port of Spain. Belonging to our Engineering Department, Mr. Dion Bainu. Mr. Richard George, Engineering Department, South Tapu. Twenty-five years service. Mr. Ricardo Chandler offers this advice. Just work hard. Mr. Sean Ullery, Properties Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Sean Harris, Assistant Manager Operations, Port of Spain. Mr. DeV Holder, Properties Department. Mr. Clive Henry, enjoys football, is a Barcelona fan, and loves to be part of the PTSE Sports Club. Mr. Sean Mason, Properties Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Vijay Ramroop, Engineering Department, San Fernando. Ms. Donna David, Engineering Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Takur Mulchan, also Engineering Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Soan Ramkaran, Engineering Department, Port of Spain. Mr. Wayne Davis is attached to our Engineering Department in the position of foreman at our Arima Depot. Mr. Ronald Lynch, Vehicle Maintenance Supervisor, came into the PTSE in 1994 as a trainee. Mr. Sheldon Braffitt, VMS Engineering, Port of Spain. Ms. Erica Dragon says she is very passionate about her job and is attached to a Properties Department, San Fernando. Mr. Junior Daniel, Acting Charge on Properties, Port of Spain. And finally, 30 years service. Ms. Bernadette Alexander McGilvery, Depot Manager, South Operations, came into the PTSE 
1991. We thank you for your outstanding service and I now invite all our guests here to give them a very hearty round of applause for that accomplishment. Just to remind all recipients, we will be distributing the awards and the gift certificates next week and everyone will be called so that we can schedule an appointment so that you can meet us in the marketing and communications department for distribution. I now invite our marketing manager, Ms. Sherelle Lewis-Clark, to give the closing remarks and then we would cross to Mr. Joshua Regrello for some more live entertainment. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Special acknowledgement to the chairman and the general manager of PTSE here with us this afternoon. I would like to express my gratitude to our distinguished guests, our long service recipients, who are viewing with us from home with their families. Your loyalty to the PTSE highlights one of our core values to remain people focused and to provide growth and development to our teams. Your dedication and long longevity does not go without notice. We would like to express our sincere thank you. I would also like to note a thank you to the chairman of the PTSE, the board of directors of the PTSE, the general manager of the PTSE, to the staff of the marketing and communication department, to our videography team and decorating team, and other special guests here with us today. On behalf of the PTSE, I acknowledge your gratitude to making today's special event possible. Thank you for your cooperation, and the PTSE looks forward to working with you in a continued partnership to strive and provide exceptional service to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. Do have a wonderful afternoon.